can quickly share stacks of photos, long videos, and even large files to nearby Apple devices using AirDrop without using cellular data. We'll show you how to send content using AirDrop and how to change your AirDrop receiving settings. Before you start, make sure the person you are sharing with is nearby. And although you don't need a network connection, both your devices must have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. If either of you have personal hotspot on, turn it off. Ready? Let's send some photos to our friend using AirDrop. In the Library tab of Photos, tap Select in the upper right corner. Then, select the photos you want to send. Tap the Share button in the bottom left corner when you're ready, and tap AirDrop. Tap the device or contact you want to share with. If you use AirDrop to send something to one of your own devices signed in with your Apple ID, it will automatically be added without needing to be accepted. The person receiving your content will get an AirDrop alert with the option to accept or decline. They can tap accept to receive it and it will come through within the same app it was sent from. Now we'll show you how to change the AirDrop receiving settings for people you allow to view your device and send you content. Just open Control Center Touch and hold the Network Settings card, which is the group of controls in the top left, and tap AirDrop. By default, AirDrop is set to Contacts Only, which means only people you have saved as a contact can see your devices and send you content. If you tap Everyone for 10 minutes, you'll be able to accept content from people you don't have in your contacts, including people you might not know. After 10 minutes, your AirDrop settings will default to contacts only. You can also tap Receiving Off if you don't want to receive any AirDrop requests. And that's how you can share through the air using AirDrop.